Hi, thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you the Amazing You program. It is an honor to be in front of you. This program is really going to help you or your clientele, your group, put their lives back together after they've experienced a trauma. I'm going to explain who this program is for, how this program works, and how you can get started for yourself or maybe your facility. You may be asking, who am I? So my name is Antique Alicia. I am really on a mission to help others end the cycle of pain and drama that is created in our lives after we experience abuse. As a survivor of abuse myself, I know that there comes a time in the cycle of recovery that it's no longer about hashing out what happened or how it happened, but we really need to define our lives beyond it and get over it. After going through years of school and counseling and programs and becoming a therapist myself, I really knew that there was a big piece missing from the entire industry. And that's where this methodology comes into place. It helps people live again beyond the abuse, beyond the cycle of dealing with it year in and year out. I've met far too many people in their 50s and 60s who are still coping with stuff that happened when they were three or four years old. And this is my mission to end. So um, through the last 20 years, I've discovered that there are six zones of personal power, and that's really the foundation of the holistic coaching and this methodology that I'm going to share with you today. I am a best-selling author. I am award winner in 2012 and 2011. I was America's premier expert in self-care. I'm a master yoga teacher. I'm currently a PhD candidate in spiritual psychology for this trauma therapy method and I'm a founder of Your Own University and the Divinely You Foundation which is a 501c3 dedicated to offering scholarships and support for people who have gone through trauma to reclaim their lives. So thank you so much for your time. <laughs> So let's start off with, let me explain, just in case you don't know, what a holistic transformation coach is, what is trauma coaching. So holistic in nature is to treat the whole subject from different angles. In this program, we focus on the six areas that we lose our power in, and then I help you or your group, your facility, your clients reclaim and define your personal six power zones for yourself. And it's a walkthrough process that I've tested over the last 10 years. It's a very specific way that we go about this, specific tools that you're going to learn how to use. And what it does for anybody, whether they have um, gone through childhood abuse or a trauma such as a big move or a loss of a job or a car accident, Anything that creates havoc in one's life can be a trauma. So trauma happens when our power is removed and our ability to cope with the situation is beyond our current abilities. Right? So for children, this might happen a little bit faster because we don't have as many resources to leave or get out of the situation, especially if it's related to our parents. As adults, this happens often when we have no power or control over, say, we lose our job or our spouse leaves or a child dies. All these things can trigger in us a very physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual blowout, like is what I like to say. So the struggle to heal after trauma can really last a lifetime because all of our circuits were blown out when you survived, when the person who survived survived. So this method is proven to bring you back into alignment to help you reclaim your life by resetting all of the circuits in your life where you truly have power and then giving you action plans, steps, and tools to cope once again. 
So who is this training for? This journey is for people who are ready to put their, the pieces of their lives back together, to break patterns, to gain success, to overcome limiting beliefs and blocks. When working with groups, I work with groups of 10 to 15 people. I like to go to your facility if you are getting this uh, because we're asking to come into your facility. I love to come in and work with people live if possible. If not, we can work over a platform like Zoom. And it's just a really great group, roundtable group, that's accompanied by online personal a personal journey that's online so everybody individually in your group will get access to the online program. If you're looking at this as an individual and I want to welcome you to that, this is such a beautiful program. You and I will work together one on one and it's it's amazing. So here's some of the people that I've worked with. I've worked with a ton of adults. Moms, dads, single, not single. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, I've worked with people who are really wanting to better their relationships and end the cycle of abuse. Oftentimes, trust issues come up when we were abused as a child, or we just have codependency comes up, and even if you're really well aware of codependency and what it looks like, how do you live without it? If that's all that you've known, how do you redefine those things? My clients have marriages saved, they have reclaimed their sexuality and their sensuality and they've created beautiful relationships and started relating to men differently with freedom or women differently with freedom depending on their whatever happened to them. This is beyond codependence, it's beyond interdependence, it's it's beyond that. It's so beautiful what we walk through in this series. I've worked with people after divorce that their, their whole lives blew up. Maybe they lo lost their house. They lost their spouse. They, their spouse may have died. And how do you rebuild? What do you do after that? So we walk through the system to rebuild. I've worked with empty nesters who have devoted their entire lives to raising their kids, especially if they were raising their kids so they were breaking the cycle of abuse in their own lives, raising their children. I have one client who you know, went, had a very traumatic childhood, who raised her kids, been married for a very long time, beautiful family, but then her kids left and she has nothing. She has nothing but to deal with the abuse that she she ended and she has been battling negative thoughts and depression and, and low self-esteem and not thinking that she's worthy and not really taking in the beautiful, beautiful benefits that she she gave her kids by raising them happy and healthy and she's still in a beautiful marriage and all of the benefits, right? She's missing all of that because of the pain of the childhood that no longer could go unnoticed because her children left the home. So this is, this is beautiful. It brings us to, I work with abuse survivors, childhood abuse survivors, as well as people that went through a, a rape or um, a battered relationship that once they got out of it, they were like, what happened? How did I get here? How, how do I get back to who I was? I work with people that are coming um, beyond recovery. So people that have maybe stopped drinking or stopped doing drugs years ago, but don't really know how to define themselves beyond their recovery, beyond the child that was abused, beyond the drug addict, beyond that definition. So how do they rebuild their lives from that? I work with light workers and empaths that are sensitive that want to know how to navigate their life's work um, that came in and went through the school of hard knocks and are now wanting to share that with the world and don't know how. I work with people that are living with illness, MS, fibromyalgia, um, Crohn's disease celiac disease, cancers. I work with people that are living with this different debilitating illnesses that want to know how to live beyond the trauma that the illness is within them. I work with people that are going through life change. So people that have 
that are ready to redefine, recreate, and reclaim what they lost. I work with people most likely like you because unfortunately one out of two people have gone through a trauma in their life, something that has completely blown their circuits and don't know how to get back on track. That's what this program is here for. Now let's talk about the six personal power zones that we go into. The first power zone is the body. Oftentimes when we go through trauma, the body gets stuck in fight, flight, or freeze. So we're going to help you to reset this by defining how you love, relate, and care for your body. And we go very deep into it. It's beautiful. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. The next place is mindset. As you know, as a man thinketh, so he is. There's so much information on mindset here. But when we're coming from a place of trauma, of lack, of victimization, oftentimes we're told things like, don't play like a victim, don't be a victim. And it's like, wait a minute. I was a victim in this situation. So learning how to recognize where your mind is playing games with you and where your mind is truly, truly there and needing to be validated is a different technique, is a different way of retraining and reprogramming your mindset so you can live in confidence and live in peace. Next is your emotional body or your vibration. How do you retune to happy? So many of my clients want to be happy. How do we get happy? Well, right, let's define happy. Let's define the emotions. Let's get clear on what you're really good at feeling and learn how to be a little bit uncomfortable feeling things like happiness, like joy, like success, things that might be unfamiliar if your whole life you've been being held down by neglect or abuse um, struggling from one drama, one trauma to the other. This is how you reset that so you can enter into more harmonious relationships. Next, we deal with the soul and the spirit. It is a known fact that the spark of life leaves the body and is hanging on by a thread once we go through trauma. It's, it's a circuit that's blown. So through this process, without getting religious on anybody, we walk the soul back into the body so the soul can retune with the emotions and the mind and the body and use the tools that they are to really effortlessly and easily bring my clients back into harmony with their lives. Then we talk about relationships, all sorts of relationships, how you show up in relationship, whether it's a love relationship or a work relationship or friends relationships, who you are in relationship, how you relate to relationship, and how to really honor yourself in a relationship. Because oftentimes, once we go through a trauma, that starts defining us as well as the people around us start defining us. Oh, well, you're a victim. Oh, well, you're a childhood survivor. Oh, well, you're a drug addict. Oh, well, you're a whatever, right? No. <laughs> no, I say no. How, how can we define ourselves there? So this is a beautiful walk through relationship. It's a complete, you're not going to get it anywhere else. And next is purpose. How can you go out into this world just feeling confident and amazing about who you are and do your thing, whatever your thing is? Um, I love helping people really reclaim this sense of purpose and confidence. It saves lives. So let's talk about the course itself, as I promised. This program is 12 sessions long. Now, the sessions can be weekly or bi-weekly. In a group, we usually meet for 12 consecutive weeks. If you're working with me privately, we can meet every other week, or sometimes if your trauma was really big, you might need some time to digest and process one single session a few times. So sometimes we extend it out as long as one session a month. 
So every two sessions, we're going to shift our focus. This is out focus, excuse me. But every two sessions, we're going to shift our focus to systematically reclaim the control and peace in your life that you are desiring and seeking. So I'm going to walk you through those shifts right now. So week one, there's a program that's online, and the part of the program that's online is going to introduce you to my signature Divine in Nine system. It's a yoga mindset system, and it's also going to give you a workbook that will walk you through really understanding your body. So we're going to explore your unique body with yoga, how you move, what's up with you. We're going to reclaim your body wisdom. This is a specific technique. It's trauma therapy, but it's also a deeper methodology of listening to your body because it has wisdom to share with you. It is so empowering. And we're going to take back your power to so begin to love the skin that you're in rather than want it to change or fix or move. Week two, we're going to go deeper into that loving the skin you're in. You're going to gain flexibility and strength, continuing with the yoga. You're going to get our sexy on. We're going to talk more about um, how the body reacts and how it responds. And common places, depending on your specific trauma and what you're going through, that we get stuck. So this is where it gets very individual. For um, a sexual trauma, you might get stuck feeling sensual or sexual or pleasure. We're going to start opening that up physically and releasing years of baggage in all forms. And there's a whole toolbox that I will open up and share with you and give to you or your group. If you're bringing together a group, if you're a facility, I'll give to your group that they can use over and over and over again, or you can. Weeks three and four, we're going to really tap into your mind. So we're taming the mind that harms you. We're going to master your core values. We're going to tap into the new you, which actually is utilizing the uh, specific formula for using tapping. It's very important mainstream EFT, but we're going to use this methodology in a very unique way that helps you not recreate drama in your life while you're getting through your trauma. Oftentimes when we start healing, more shit starts throwing at us because it's like, oh, she's ready to deal with it. He's ready to deal with it. And then, and then all hell breaks loose and we stop the cycle. I have figured out how to lessen this effect, how to deal with it in a masterful way by utilizing tapping in a completely new matter. All right, so we're going to also go through mastering the art of radical forgiveness on a deep level. And this is a complete forgiveness package. It's amazing, it's unique, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Week four, your voice, your power. So our words are so important. So you're going to learn... Um, to think like a queen or think like a king. How to shift limiting beliefs. This curbs PTSD and stress. You're going to start understanding your mind and the tool of your mind and how your brain works with your body. All right? So get that. You're going to also learn journaling secrets that when you utilize in a specific way, you're going to really benefit from letting things go and canceling things out. The brain is like a sponge, right? And we can change it. You can change the way you think, and therefore just this, either one of these, the body or the mind, would transform your life. However, we're not going to do things halfway here because then it ends. what ends up happening is you jump from one therapy to the next therapy dealing with just the body or just the mind or just the vibe as we'll go through here. So five, numb no more. We're going to feel again, love again, awaken your passion for your life again. In the physical part of this, on the online, we, I have a Wave Wednesdays, they were called, but this wave workout, and it is a way to move and dance. Whether you're a man or woman, I've heard that this is just an amazing way to express. It's a specific methodology that you use your body and your mind and your emotions to just start cleaning house. The art of trusting again, trusting yourself and others. Trust is huge when it comes to trauma because no matter what the trauma was, 
the circuits were blown. You couldn't trust yourself in that moment to, with the ability to cope, to handle whatever was happening. So to regain that trust for yourself and therefore others is huge. We're going to talk about that and how we do that through this emotional intelligence. We're going to give you tools to raise your vibration so you start attracting a new story into your life. Week six, you turn on your magic superpower. So you are beautiful energy. You're amazing energy. So how do you master your unique presence? Oftentimes, we're uncomfortable being ourselves because we've been made wrong. We've been told we weren't good enough. We were told that we can't measure up in some way or another. Or we've come to these conclusions ourselves. So... Getting comfortable with the uncomfortability of being ourselves, tuning into yourself, no matter what is going on, is a beautiful thing, and it transforms lives. Just that one thing will totally and completely um, give you freedom. We're going to go through how to feel again. Maybe you're going to feel some things for your very first time. This is a fun, fun activity. And then there's practices within the online workshop for clearing your chakras, which is an actual energy centers or nerve bundles along your spine in western terminology the chakras are simply located where the nerve bundles of your nerve endings are located up your spine and we get things blocked in there so when we clear the nervous system and reset it then our endocrine system and our digestive system and our reproductive system and all the rest of our systems, our cardiovascular system, our hormonal body is balanced. And you really unlock this freedom, this new freedom. It's beautiful. I love it when it happens and I'm super excited. And then that turns us into a free vessel that you can reclaim your life force after trauma. This is a very sacred event. We do it in this order specifically so your body and your mind and your vibration don't kick it out again. Um, and you can really reseed your soul. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. I have a formula here. We're going to go over it. A happy place going above intuition. So above like, oh, I kind of know where I got feeling. You have a heart center. So I teach these things called hugs and how to manage your energy, how to manage yourself so you feel grounded and secure and whole and with an even deeper, newer level of trust here. Week eight, confidence building on a whole new level. So now you're in your body, you feel great, you have your major tools, your vibration, your mindset, and your body working with you. We're going to living inside out. So living soul first. This feels weird at first. It's a training. It's something you practice and practice some, you know, for the rest of your life, really. But we're going to go into how to start developing your life to live this way, to increase prosperity, to increase beauty, to increase joy, to increase positivity in your life. Tapping into your intuition and decision-making power. And this is a specific formula as well. It's a great tool to have. And ways to calm in the midst of the storm because life's going to happen, right? You might even like um, have to walk through a big storm sometimes. So it we can do it better. How do you really collect all of your coping skills so you have so much skill that you can get yourself back on track within days or weeks rather than years or decades? Week nine, expressing your whole self and nothing less to the world around you. So we're going to go into amazing relationships. What is an amazing relationship to you? We're going to reclaim your right to enjoy intimacy. Oftentimes when all of our circuits are blown, whether you're a man or a woman, we blow the circuitry of pleasure and we blow the circuitry in our reproductive system. And so we're going to reclaim that for yourself. The top ways of being that kill relationships and how to avoid them. This is a really special talk and seminar that we go into and you're going to um, you're going to love. Now, if you're in private session or if we're in a group session and we're going through things, we're going to go deeper into which every whichever area 
is more beneficial to the group or the, the situation at hand. What I've found over the last 10 years of doing this specific program over and over and over again with people is it's very organic. I don't plan it out. I don't plan the sessions out, but it seems like oh, it just flows from one event to the next, one event to the next through this specific systematic system. It's amazing. So week 10, power relationships, making life more dreamy, creating relationships and rebirthing them, meaning like redefining, recreating them. The most important questions to ask yourself, this is a worksheet workbook in your, in your online material that, by the way, is yours forever when you register. Boundaries done right, the formula to your peace and happiness. Boundaries done right. Oftentimes boundaries are very misconstrued, especially if you've been in therapy for a long time. Um, they come at many different angles. So we're going to do boundaries done right, what they are, what they're not, and how you can live within your own beautiful, beautiful safe house. All right, so coming to the end here, we're going to enter into purpose. So week 11. This is your life, the secrets to end surviving and truly be the creator you were born to be. So remembering that this is really only the beginning. Once we get through this course, you are going to be able to come back to this course and do it over and again. You're going to bring together and put together your life plan for the next 90 days and then the next 90 days, really creating beautiful habits. And I have a very special bonus for everybody in this program, whether you're in a group, whether I'm working with you as a corporation or company and I'm coming into your facility, everybody in the program will get access to three months of the You Matter Club, which is daily love you habits that take 10 minutes or less that help all of this just become a habit a habit of nurturing your body, your mind, your vibe, your relationships, your soul, and your purpose. So mastering the art of being you, the art of trusting and following your heart to your passion work. To your passion work. Oftentimes when we were younger, we were told, like, sorry, that's unreasonable. That's You shouldn't live that way, blah, blah, blah. This is not... This is not true. Not true. Your talents are there for a reason. So how can you live into your talents? We start working this and planning it out. Week 12, plan and live powerfully, rocking your worth, or worthy and rocking. So step in, stepping into your feminine power of desire. Men, you're going to step into your masculine power of desire. The art of receiving and trusting. Oftentimes we're really good at giving but not receiving. For men and women, this is really important. And how to allow yourself to step into your divine worth. And this is just a deep conversation. Now, all of this is very personalized when we're working together privately. It's all very um, group focused when we're in group. So this is what you're going to get in the written material, in the workbook, the walkthrough. This is the basic outline. However, I create this into a very individual journey across this bridge from survival to thriving um, for each and every person. It's pretty friggin' rad. <laughs> So some questions that everyone wants to know, um, yes, there's 12 private coaching sessions or group coaching sessions depending on the course that you choose. There's 12 modules of Amazing You. This includes workbooks, PH3s, and videos. There's the You Matter School of Mastery, the Daily Love Habits. That's the bonus that you get three months of it free. And if you choose to stay in the group, there's ones every single day for every day of the year. That is available for you. There's an ongoing community of support for you no matter what. And as you journey into this, it's going to be just amazing. Now, I know everyone's saying, well, how much does it cost? If you're a group and I'm working in a corporation, we have different ways that we work together. So there's different payment options depending on how you want to work that. There's discounts for paying in full. Um, a group of 10 is a little bit less than private coaching um, for each individual, right? 
So you're, the best way to do this is just to ask me, get back together, let's get together, let's set up the next course of action. This sounds like something you want to bring into your facility. This sounds like something that you'd like to um, join for yourself. Then let's talk about that step. How which option is best for you and the results that you want, and which option fits your specific budget. So I want to thank you so much for your time. You can email me at info at AnticaLivy.com. You can also go to AnticaLisha.com and look in the Amazing You programs under Work With Me, and you can register for private coaching, uh, choosing your payment option there or you can register for the next group coaching. When you register for either, you are going to immediately get access to the online material, your welcome packet that will be sent back to me, and then we'll schedule the time. If for any reason it says on the private coaching it says full or the group coaching it says full, um, please reach out to me and I will put you on the waiting list. Thank you so much and I will talk to you shortly.